Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can make a sidebar using HTML and CSS. So here you can say I have a sidebar option over here and if I take my cursor over here, the color just and if I click on it, it will get selected like this. There you can see if I now click on product, this one will be selected. So I am going to show you everything step by step how you can make something like this. So for it, let's go back to our code. And here you can see I have a simple HTML structure over here. So inside this body, let's go and mention a div over here. And for this div, we are going to mention a class. And the class name will be sidebar. So right now in this div, let's go and mention a anchor text. So we are going to mention anchor tag. We'll give a hash over here. And let me just copy this. And I'm going to paste it one, two, and three times. So for this one, let's go and see over here dashboard. Then here we're going to say user. Then here we'll say product. And then we'll say messages. So right now, if we save, then if we just open it using browser, there you can see we have some option over here, dashboard, user, product, and messages. So right now, let's go and make it look like a sidebar. So let's go back and first of all let's go and create a style.css so here i'm just going to right click on my project then click new file and here i'm going to say style.css control s then save so here uh, we could write anything we need to connect this style.css to the index.html so here we're going to say link then in this href, we'll set style.css. So right now, let's go and first write the style for this div class sidebar. So let's go to our style.css and here we're going to give a dot. Then we'll say over here sidebar. Then to second bracket, we need to give a dot because sidebar is a class. So right now in this sidebar, we're going to say position. It will be fixed. Then we we'll say here top, it will be zero we we'll sell our here width will be 250 b then height it will be 100 percent it means uh, our sidebar will take 250 bx it will be around this much and height will be 100 percent and let's go and mention a background color so the background color it will be black so right now if we save it then if we now refresh our here there you can see we have a background color over here and there is some space over here. So let's just remove those space from here. So let's go back and here we're going to give a star. Then to second bracket, we'll say here margin, it will be zero. Then we'll say here padding, it will be zero. Save. Then if we now refresh here, there you can see there is no space right now. So right now let's go and make it look like an option. So let's go back. And if we now go to index.html, here you can see we have the anchor tag and our anchor tag is inside the sidebar. So over here, we are going to say dot sidebar, then we we'll mention the anchor tag, then we we'll give to second bracket. So right now we are going to write the style for the anchor tag. So first, we want to show this in a list like this. So we need to say over here, display, it will be block. So right now, if we save, let me just show you, then refresh, there you can see it look like this. So let's make it in the center. Let's change the text color, font size, and let's also make the text de decoration none. So let's go back. And here we're going to set color for the text. It will be white. Then we'll say here, text decoration, it will be none. Then we want the text to be in the center, so we are going to show our here text align, it will be centered. After it, we are going to mention the text size. So we are going to show our here font size, let's say 15 px, then we are going to show our here font weight, this one, it will be borg. Save, then let's go back, refresh, and there you can see. So right now let's go and add some padding over here. So let's go back and here we're going to set padding. It will be let's say 15 bx. Save it again. Then refresh and there you go. So right now at the top we're going to add a admin image and a text over there. Okay, so for it let's go back and here you can see I have an image over here. 
this will be the admin images so let's go back to our index.html and after this div class sidebar we're going to mention another div over here and for this div let's mention a class and the class name will be let's say admin underscore info and in this div we're going to mention an image tag so in this image tag we're going to keep this image so for it we're going to say over here here you can see our image name is admin.jpg so we say here admin.jpg so right now let's save it and let's go back then refresh and there you can see so obviously we need to fix the design let's go and first fix the image height and width let's go back and here we're going to mention a class over here and the class name will be admin underscore img let's save it and let's go and first write some CSS for this admin image. So let's go back to the style.css. So for the class, we are going to say over here dot admin underscore img, then to say in bracket, let's say image height will be 40 px, then width, it will be 40 px as well, and we'll make our image round. So we are going to say over here border, radius, it will be 50%. So this will make our image round. So right now, if we save it, then if we now refresh and then you can see we have our image over here so right now let's have the image in the center so for it what we need to do is that we need to show over here display it will be block then we are going to show over here margin it will be auto so this will make our image in the center refresh and there you go so right now below this image let's add a text called admin so let's go back and here after the image tag, it is mentioned a level tag. So let's show our here level and in this level, we just show our here admin. Save it and for this level, we need to mention a class. Let's say class name will be admin underscore text. Let's go to our style.css again and here we are going to say dot admin underscore text to second bracket. But before we write anything, let me just show you how it will look. Let me just refresh over here. And here you can see the text is over here and the text color is black. So let's make the text color uh, sky blue. So let's go back and here we are going to set color. It will be sky blue and let's make that in the center. So for it, we are going to show over here display. It will be block. Then we say here margin. It will be auto. Save. Then refresh here. Okay, it's still over here. Okay, we need to write text align center. So here we are going to set text align. It will be center. Let's also add some padding. Let's say padding. It will be 15 bx. And let's make the text bolder. So let's over here font wedge. It will be bold. Save it again. Then refresh. And there you go. So right now let's change the background color for this admin section and let's also add some space at the top as well. So let's go back. Then we'll go to index.html and here you can see for the admin, we mentioned a class over here, admin info. So let's go to our style.css and here we're going to say dot admin underscore info. Then to second bracket and here first of all, uh, here you can see that for the sidebar, the width is 250 px. So for this admin info, we are going to mention over here width, it will be 250 px. Then we are going to show on here padding top, it will be 50 px. Then we'll also add some space at the bottom. So we show what here padding bottom, it will be 50 px. And we are going to add a background color for it. So we are going to say background color hash, it will be 7c, 7c. 7, 9. So right now, if we save it, then if we refresh, there you go. So right now, what we can do is that when someone take their cursor on those options, the text color will change. So for it, let's go back. And here you can see the text is inside the anchor tag. And our anchor tag is inside the sidebar. So we're going to mention over here, dot sidebar, then anchor tag, then we give a clone over here and we'll say what here over over means when we are taking our cursor on the menu option so when we take the cursor on the menu option we want the color to be let's say sky blue then save it 
then refresh here right now if i take my cursor over here there you can see the color change so right now let's go and do one more thing that is when you click on the option the background color for it will change so for it let's go back then we are going to show over here dot sidebar dot active now this is a class uh, that we use to change the background color and for it we need to use a little bit of jqt so here we are going to mention background color it will be has f2 f2 and f2 save and if we now refresh it will not or there you can see it is not working so first of all we need to write a little bit of jqt and before we write the jqt code we need to add the jqt cdn link in our index.html so for it what we need to do is that we need to search over here jqt cdn link then press enter and there you can see jqt cdn over here or you can come over here as well cdnjs.com if i now click on it there you can see it is showing us the jqt uh, cdn link so if i now click on this option there you can see it got copied so let's go back to our code and in the index.html inside the head section we're going to paste it and after that we just go down and at the end of our body tag i am going to paste a little bit of javascript code which is this one only two line of code or you can say just one line of code uh, this is just a function so here we are saying dot sidebar anchor tag it means whenever someone click on this option it will call this function and what this function will do is that it will make that into a active class and whenever you click on different option it will remove the previous active class and here you can see we mentioned the active class over here and for active class we mention a background color so right now if we just save this and save this here then if we now refresh over here then if i now click on any option there you can see the color changed and for this let's go back and here for this active class let's also mention a color from the text over here as well let's say that color will be same on sky blue save refresh again click on it there you can see you can make the text color black if you want let's just make it black i think that will look better save then refresh click on it there you can see so right now our sidebar is complete so right now if we want to write something about here what will happen let me just show you if i just go back to our code then index.html so after this sidebar let's go and mention another div over here so let's mention a div so in this div let's go and mention a h on tag and in this h on tag let me just paste some random text over here save it then refresh here and there you can see the text started from here from this corner so for it in order to solve it what we need to do is that let's go back and in this tip we're going to mention a class over here let's say the class name will be main underscore body then we'll go to style.css and here we're going to set dot main underscore body to second bracket and here we're going to set margin lab and what will be the margin left? Margin left will be 250 px because in the sidebar, in the sidebar we mentioned over here we 250 px. So the margin left it will be 250 px. So right now if we save, then if we now refresh and there you go. It now started just after the sidebar. You can see over here margin let's say 280 px. Then you can also mention a padding, it will be 10 bx, save, then refresh, and there you go. So this is how you can make sidebar using HTML and CSS. If you have any question or any suggestion that what kind of video I should make in the future, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe, I really appreciate that, and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.